Buzz allows teams to create on-brand static assets with the power of Figma design and the ease of use for anyone to feel empowered to create. To enable your teams to create on-brand assets of their own, you can publish your templates within Buzz for them to use within a brand new file. When your team uses one of your templates, they will be in focus editing mode, allowing them to swap the content of the design without changing the layouts of the template. This default editing mode helps your team stay on brand, but if they want to use your templates as more of a starting point, they can go ahead and remove those guidelines and be able to fully edit in a freeform environment. If you're already using Figma design, you can use your current designs and bring them over to Buzz and publish them. The first step is to navigate to your design file. It's really as simple as selecting all of your frames within your design file that you want to turn into templates within Buzz, hitting Command C, or copying and pasting over to your Buzz file. You will notice that our Figma designs pasted over very nicely into different rows within our grid view here. I really like to start in this for creating templates because you are able to define these rows for organization for all of your template users. I've gone ahead and renamed the rows of my templates here. And what's really great about grid view is that I can also rearrange the order that these template rows show up for our template users. This is really great for asset view when you are scrolling through and you can have the specific order. So maybe I would like my Instagram post before my X post, etc. While I am fine tuning my template before I publish, I can also leverage all the tools within Figma design that would be necessary to make some tweaks to my template. So I don't have to do as much context switching once I am in a buzz file. Once you're happy with the way that your template is looking, make sure to add a title to your file and put it in a project that is visible to the right team. To actually publish your template, you will go to the share settings, hit publish template, and follow through with the rest of the instructions by giving it a specific name, once again, a thumbnail and a description, and hit publish. Now we'll cover some best practices to make your template easy to use in Buzz. Within Buzz, the layer names are going to appear as the field labels within the edit content on the left side. This is particularly important for those creating designs to make sure that you are renaming your layers for them to be clear and accessible for those using the template. If you forget to rename your layers before bringing your designs into Buzz, you can always switch to design mode and click on your asset to find your layers and swap those names out. You can also curate what content shows in the edit content panel by locking any text or image layers within your design. Any unlocked text and image layers will show as editable content in this panel. So simply head over to your layers and find the information that you would want to lock down and not be editable for the users of your template. For this specific template, I do not want my campaign name to change at all. This is going to be consistent across all the generated assets that my team makes. As well as this event image, I do not want that to be swapped out. So by locking these, if we head back to our edit content panel, you will notice that these now do not appear in this panel and my template users will not be able to edit that content unless they remove the guideline. For images that you allow to be swapped within a template, make sure that you toggle into design mode and make sure that there are no hidden images or layers here that are going to interfere with being able to swap that content. This is especially important for those using bulk create. So I will go ahead and remove that and now it will simplify the process of swapping out this image for future templates. You are also able to make some light adjustments to your images that will remain there even when the image is swapped out. Within Buzz, you can also leverage the power of components and variants. So for this example, say I have a few different options for my logo lockup. I want to swap this logo here for the one that has the collab letter mark. And so I can click on it, hit swap content in the toolbar, and you'll notice I'll be able to choose a replacement. This is a really great way to empower your team to have some fun and adjust your designs without going off brand. Finally, each text layer will show up separately in the edit content panel, and each field can only have one formatting style applied. So if you have more than one type of formatting in your design, in this example, we have two different fonts being used for our main content here, 
it is best to separate those texts so that formatting stays no matter what we switch in that content panel. We recommend having a separate text layer for every single font, weight, and style applied. We also recommend doing this for distinct fields that have different content that needs to be applied. In this specific example, it is very important to separate the text fields for a few reasons. One, this is the topic that is going to stay probably consistent for all of the generated assets my team makes, and the doctor's name is most likely going to be swapped out for those that are being spotlighted for each different event. And that's it. Buzz is free to use for those with a full seat, making it easy for designers to get in and create templates for their teams. And Buzz itself will be accessible in a separate content seat for non-designers, making your templates accessible to teammates who don't need the full power of Figma design. If you follow these best practices, your team should be very successful in leveraging Figma design to create on-brand templates for your teammates to use, freeing up some creative time for you. Go ahead and try making templates today.